All right, just to show you how fast Speed Trivia is, I'm gonna actually do the install and get the game up and running as to show you how quick it is. Now, this is the installer file, that the .air file you get when you download the game. And so uh, if you have Adobe Air installed properly, then this icon will look like a brown cardboard box. If it doesn't look like a brown cardboard box, go reinstall Adobe Air and possibly reset your computer. Okay, you're gonna click on that. It's gonna say, hey, do you wanna install? You say, yep, install that thing. I'm gonna install it right there. Hit continue, and then it's gonna launch the game, and boom, we are up and rolling. That's it, just like that. If I turn up the on button right here, all of our games have a, a screen selector built into them. Most of our games have a screen selector built into them. The newer ones do, some of the old ones don't. But uh, if I click the on button, you're gonna see that game pop up to the big screen. Whoa, look at that, that is beautiful. Now, Speed Trivia, uh, one of the cool things about it, it's got a top 10. So we have a, uh, a top 10, um, scoreboard to see who is, you know, who's one of the game. So to do that, we have to make sure that someone types their name in. So you're gonna type the name in right here. My name is Brad, so I'm gonna type in Brad right here. I'm gonna hit save name. You'll see that play is grayed out. You can't click on play, it doesn't do anything. But as soon as I hit save name, ooh, look at that button, it popped out and it's ready to go. Now, there's gonna be four questions up there. It's gonna be a red, blue, yellow, and green. That's gonna be left, right, up, down, or one, two, three, four, or A, S, D, F. Those are all keyboard inputs you can use to trigger those things as quick as possible. So for this demo, I'm gonna use the one, two, three, and four keyboard. But if you have, you can use the arrows if you want to. So if you have a Makey Makey connected or some kind of uh, button buzzer, we will get to those in just a second. But just to play the game, uh, real, uh, real simple, you type your name in right here and then hit save, and then it's gonna pop out there. And when I hit play, I'm gonna have 30 seconds. So, all right, 30 seconds, here we go. All the questions are built into the game already. Valentine's Day is in which month? That's February, so that is two. Yeah. All right, good job, Brad. Uh, how many bowling pins get knocked down for a strike? That would be 10, so that would be number three. Yeah. All right, good job. You see whenever you hit it, thing lights up, there's a big hit, but if I answer the, the question wrong, what princess uh, have tiger pet? I'm gonna say Rapunzel. Oh no, I am out. And since I missed it, my turn is over. So I got 89 points, my points over, but I'm the first person, so I still got number one. So that's how the game works. If you get all the way through 10, then you get more points. So you wanna stay as long as possible to get more points. Now, if I want, I can type in another game there, another name, I'm just gonna put Brad two. But no matter what, you have to hit save name every time someone wants to play. Uh, before this play button will pop out, and that's so we can make sure that we're getting them into the top 10 and we're uh, in the in the leaderboard, because the leaderboard is really important. So, a couple things to point out. You'll see that the, the, that's the number of points you're gonna get for each score, so the faster you buzz in, the more points you're gonna get. Uh, which food, uh, which is a breakfast food? I, well, <laughs> you could kinda eat all of them there, but I'm gonna go talk to this, or toast, that's what I'm gonna say. Uh, what is SpongeBob's last name? That is Square Pants number two. So you'll see that the faster I go in, I'm getting out there. And now, it's only, it's only got 30 seconds, so if you get one wrong, the game is over. If you uh, if you run out of time, which I'm gonna do in two seconds, then time's up, can't buzz in anymore, and I get locked in. So that time I only got 62 points, so I'm in second place. Let me make sure I get the, that actually doesn't, that looks better when I'm not on the camera. Okay, in real life. Okay, now, so that's the whole game. And so you can just play the game as much as you want. You try to get to the top 10, uh, or trying to, get to the, have the very best uh, quiz show. We've got about 160 questions are, are built into the game. And you're asking right now, there's nowhere to edit that. There's nowhere to change those. Those, those 160 are locked in. That's what they are. Um, so just to get that out, just to, don't email me. Sorry, but we're trying to make this as fast and easy as possible. You can be up playing this game in 30 seconds, so, which is really great. Now. Now, let's, talk, let's move into those buttons, okay? So if you have these buzzers set up, what we like to do with these is, these are all the same color, but if you have different color buttons, that's great. These are uh, affordable buttons. These are wireless buttons. These are great. They're from affordablebuzzers.com. Um, you can Google that. Well, I have a link down below, but you'll see up here, that's the number four, that's a three, that's a two, and this is a one. So. Just like, these are just in a keyboard shortcut to the game, and then it's going up to there. So now when I play with these, oh, I'm gonna type, this is gonna be Brad 3, just cause I'm cool like that. So now when I play, as I'm playing, I can actually play the one, two, three, four. So I can actually position these how they're physically gonna be. So you can see that's one, two, three, four. That kind of matches the, there, there, there. Okay, well, which of these does not keep time? Uh, a compass, so that'd be this guy here. 
And so it's a little bit easier if you have these buttons to so go a little bit faster. Now, we've placed before where we will take these and physically put them like 10 feet that way, 10 feet that way. So someone is standing in the middle. And so you've got to run over and hit this and then come back and look up then run over and hit this one and come back. And so moving these apart and making people run to different locations is a really fun way to play speed trivia. So that's the whole game. It's, uh, you can play, it's got a, it's got the leaderboard built in. It's got questions built in. It's got lots of sound effects and those sound effects just, you know, turn, it's got a lot of sub and so turn those speakers up that it sounds really good. And then at the end of it, you'll see the person's name down there, what the current high score is, and then whatever the top, uh, the, the top 10 are. And that is speed trivia. When you're all done, you can always clear the top 10 down here if you wanna restart, start a whole new set, and now I'm back to zero. Ready to play all over again. Speed trivia, really fast. Hope you love it. See you soon.